one of the world's natural wonders and the largest coral ecosystem on the planet. The Great Barrier Reef is preparing to procreate. The corals release the sperm and egg into the water. It will create a flurry of activity and fish life, so it will be a really exciting underwater visual. That's essentially the big regenerative event that the, that the reef has year in, year out. Synchronised sex is thought to give them more chance of making baby corals. Spawning is one of the most incredible natural events maybe on the planet where, you know, essentially millions of animals are reproducing at the same time. But just this week the condition of the ailing reef system was downgraded, a report to the UN classing it in a critical condition. That hurts. We know since few years like uh, the health of the reef is just degrading and degrading. We know that the impact of climate change is, is higher than never and it's, it's really sad consequences. Now more than ever, this ecosystem needs life support. Particularly given the stress that the reef's been under, we're all really watching tentatively tonight to see hopefully some uh, amazing spawning. In a world television first, the ABC is broadcasting this year's spawning event live, above and below the water. It is really exciting because it's such a beautiful event. It's such like visual, visual things to see. So I think it's globally significant in that if we think about the Great Barrier Reef being the largest of the coral reefs in the world, you know, everyone's kind of looking to see how the Great Barrier Reef's doing for, you know, I guess as a, as a flagship for reefs worldwide. Hopes are pinned on this year for a new generation of corals to be born. Baby corals are incredibly small um, and it will probably take about a year for us to really start to notice them. George Roberts, ABC News.